politics. We've just had the general election in the UK, and what a shambles that was. Hung Parliament. Now, for those of you that don't understand it, bear in mind I only realised this the other day, parties in the UK have to win by a clear majority before they can get into power. And because no one won by clear, um, clear margin, or by this specific number that they were supposed to achieve, no one is actually the single winner. This means that the parties now have to argue amongst themselves to form a government from all three, well, all three main parties. Now this is ridiculous. I can understand why the Liberal Democrats want to change this, because they actually got just shy of 30% of the total votes between the top three parties, but they only got 9% of the total seats in the Houses of Parliament. What rubbish is that? I mean, how can you get 30% of the votes and only less than 10% of the seats? And what's worse is I found, I noticed that in Wales, where we are now, the borders for all the constituencies bear no resemblance whatsoever to the borders of the counties. This county we're in now, well, we're actually leaving um, one county and going into another, and the one we're going into has three, three separate MPs running it. Now, some counties in England have up to 20 different MPs, but they stick to that one county. Here, we've got three MPs in three in one county, but each of those MPs has a second county to run. How does that work? I mean, that can't be good government. It can't be. That's just going to lead to chaos, panic and disorder. In that order. But the thing that gets me the most is talking to people that have voted this election. Now, almost everyone that I've spoken to has voted Liberal Democrat. We got Conservative. Now, the only people that I've spoken to that haven't voted Liberal Democrat have said the exact same thing. Because they're not a main party, it's a wasted vote. Now, I'm sorry, that's ridiculous. If everyone thinks that the same way, it's a wasted vote. It's a wasted vote. And that's what everyone's done. Because they, were, everyone's wanted to vote for them, but no one has, because it's a wasted vote. What? What? Why? Why is it a wasted vote? But you can understand that now that they're having to work together, it's going to be an even bigger mess, because well, politicians don't like agreeing on things at the best of times when you've got three different parties trying to agree on the same thing. It's just going to be absolute utter chaos. But, you know, it's better than one single party getting in because, to be honest, they're all crap. All of them, all of them are utter, utter rubbish. I mean, OK, the Liberal Democrats, they've never been in power before, so they probably don't know what they're doing. But they have, they have uh, ideas on how to go about things. The Conservatives uh, and the Labour, <coughs> Labour Party, they are just utter lying bastards. They, the entire uh, policy in the run-up to the election campaign for the uh, Conservative Party focused solely on how can we win more votes? More votes, more votes means more power. Yes, and they failed miserably because everyone knows that they're lying, cheating bastards. And, but people vote, still voted for them in the hope that they might have changed. Retards, that's what I say. And that's the problem. You've got retards voting for them. See, I voted for the Liberal Democrats not because I agree with all their policies. I voted for them because they showed that what policies they want to change, they have a business plan. They have a way of funding it. See, everyone promises um, 
all these things on the run-up to an election. And yes, that's fine. You can probably do that. But how the hell are you going to pay for it? You can't. We, you can't because you haven't got the money. You, and you can't get the money without increasing taxes. The Liberal Democrats, this is why they got my vote, and this is why they got most people's vote, is they were saying that they were talking about what things they will get rid of to free up the money to do the things they want to do. Now, they may not be the best party in the world, but that's the first intelligent thing I've heard an MP do for a very long time. People, more MPs should do that. I mean, why? Why do we have lawyers as MPs? It seems to me to be a bit retarded because you're putting them in charge of the country and it's a country with a lot of money and a lot of different things happening in it. What you want from an MP isn't a lawyer to sit in a big bloody room arguing all day. You want someone who knows how to run a, co a country like a business. But all of them, the problem is, all of them are not allowed to have businesses because it would interfere with their political interests. Now, I can understand the logic behind that, but surely they should have at least experience in a business or have had at some point a business in which they can prove their competency at managing money. Because competency and uh, politician are two words that don't go together very well at all. And um, yes, competency. It's something that politicians just don't have, which is a shame because they need it. And to get that, to get someone into power that has that competency is going to be hard. You're not going to find it overnight. And they need, and like the Liberal Democrats say, there needs to be some sort of electoral reform to actually get more competent MPs into power. I had an idea. What we need, really, to stop retarded people getting into power is to stop retarded people voting for we don't want people going into the polling station and voting for their candidate like it's a bloody X-Factor competition. It's not a phoning vote. They're not going to get a, uh, a music deal when they finish. If they get voted in, they're going to be running the country. They're going to be donating who is how much tax you're paying. And so it's a little bit more important than who's got the prettiest place. Now, I think Lord Brown this year lost big time because the other two candidates were considerably cuter than he was. Now, you might think that's a stupid idea. You ask anyone that knows anything about how people think and they will agree with you. It's true. So what my idea is, you need a test. Okay, everyone has the right to vote, but everyone should be tested on what they're voting for. I don't mean a big test, I don't mean an intelligence test, you know. Even stupid people have the right to vote and sometimes stupid people with a low IQ can have a better outlook on um, the political situation than someone with an IQ of 100, 155. What we need is just a test. Maybe five or six questions on who you're voting for on the candidates themselves, just so you know, so that we know that the people that what the people are voting for, that they know what they're voting for. Just five or six questions on their policies, on um, the things that they're planning to do. I mean, that's not discriminating. I mean, there's nothing wrong with testing people to know that they've done their revision, they've done their homework, and they actually know what they're talking about because otherwise you're just going to get this problem of people going into the polling station and saying, I don't want to vote for him, he's an ugly bastard, I'll vote for him.